save them with the shield and then uh, maybe Thompson can get some saves out as well. So um, we'll so see. I'm very point, intrigued. On he's going to be great. He's going to be sitting back. He's going to be farming. He's going to be focusing on himself as opposed to the rest of the team. Unless it's some like crazy deep dive, which yeah, we, we, we know both of these teams are very, very capable. Sitchas play Graham. Boy. I am looking forward to this one, that's for sure. We get to see a Sam clockwork as well. So I think they might be potentially switching these lanes up a little bit. Uh, no, I guess the, the clockwork wants to be paired together together with the nature's profit, but really doesn't feel nice into the undying lane. Sorry, it starts. I'm gonna make some shenanigans start with the fortunes there. You blew it! That I mean, okay, so against the Storm Spirit, you're both going to gonna be spamming spells, one big value, shocked. right? Like Shum. the Purifying Flames for constant harass, yada 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 from level 3 onwards. Eh, alright, rein myself back, no predictions. <laughs> Watch what Thompson mm -hmm. does and learn. Well, I do want to mention though, with the game that we did see out of his Oracle in the closed qualifiers, we both thought it was a game where... Fate's Edict was kind of warranted. The battle begins. Um, it was a... I cannot remember the history, but it was a... Yeah, that's right. And it was a game where they had a... Oh, actually. The Supreme might have been a lot of trouble here. Seven's body blocks are going to be on the mark, and it looks like that is the case. And oh, gee. Hit the board to start our game one. Ooh. Okay, so both teams have kind of scouted out a little bit here. They seem to think that they've got vision on this bottom side, which is why the Undying has come here to deal with the Treants. But OG have also done the same sort of thing. They've completely swapped out uh, which lane is going where. I, I like it. Both teams are making the right sort of rotations. Denied! Who does this favor now with the setup? With, with how we got the lanes at the moment, the side lanes in particular? Mm. Honestly, I... I'm not 100% sure. Like the immersion, him being here is going to feel nice with all of the units. You can, you know, even just a single point in the soul rip is going to be good value. You can deal with the treants and you can deal with the clockwork strength hero very well. So Zibbe should free farm. It's really the top mm. side that I'm like, well, are you... The boom is saying, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Oh. You know, like, yeah, I know. Uh, it's like, Dyer's you know, taking rid of something killed. good just to give yourself something else good, but something else suffers as a result of it, you know? Well, I guess, I guess uh, like, arrow into... Uh, yeah. Sorry, stun into arrow feels kind of... But you've got no one here. I guess maybe if you use it on no one, no then... One. Yeah. yeah, but Kitrak's gonna be okay, especially if he's positioned next to the Abaddon, but like we just saw, if no one needs to stun, then... Might have some troubles. Might get aggressive on respect. And we've already seen the level up in the star storm. They know he's not going to be able to leap the way. And on last right click, no one. He's able to find his own kill as well. So already, I feel very good start is all due. I gotta look at mid. We, we gotta see what's <laughs> going on here. I mean, Supreme one one of arguably his best hero. I mean, the storm spirit level 27, and he's having a pretty good time. 12 and three compared to the six and one. So. Uh, I wonder if once Topson's able to get a little bit more levels that it becomes more favorable, but we even see Seb trying to rotate over and take away the, the water room. So they're trying to help out Topson. Yeah, they're doing all the right things. Things are pretty low, able to duck into the tree line though. Things do become a little bit easier for Thompson, especially once it's level 4 set. I might actually be able to set up for a bit of a kill here, but no fortune's end just yet. The dragon on the tower, Seb? Not with the expect. Back down, but Thompson gets the kill nonetheless. <laughs> oh, it starts. It's. I mean, that started. was just the one point in the purifying flames as well. I was really expecting that sort of stuff to happen from level 4 onwards, but the fact that it was two points, Fortune's Zen, just one purifying flames, and they're still getting the kill and denying this experience away, big win for old G. And Rezo's not too worried about going to this matchup. I mean, see, he's got the crew wave in a pretty good position. Um, but the hard camp as well. There's nothing the undying is going to be able to do. So we already see Immersion. He's back into the jungle trying to make some stacks for the Storm Spirit just so he can potentially get some catch up off the back of this lane. Not away from the Oracle mid. <laughs> he's even going to get a photo of a bottle refill coming through from Seb. So, and the old boys, they're sticking together. I like it. I really wasn't expecting that to go back the other way quite so easily. I guess that's what happens when you look to go for these kills. The uh, the Chaos Bolt into the uh, the Sacred Arrow. No points in leap. 
that as soon as they saw that, they were like, alright, we can look to make a play on this, and just saw what happened. And this... You gotta be very concerned because this Chaos Knight, this is a hero that bodies lanes. Like, you are... Mm -hmm. You don't really farm overly fast, and the Phantasm Chains it helps... Me. See, they're actually gonna try and rotate Immersion up top. Stupendous! That's some shop at the moment, trying to juke and jive, pumping out the arrow. I mean, more bottom lane... Oh. Got the kill on the Zibbe, he's trying to TP back to get the experience under the tower, it looks like, but it's not a whole lot. So, you... Oh, boy. So you rotate Immersion top to try and get the kill on no one. Use Tombstone, you don't even get it. And then bottom lane, your off lane, it goes down, and... Oh, good stuff. Radiant's Tim's making a move towards oh, mid. He's got the boots, he's gonna look to try and chase down Supreme while he still doesn't have that level 6, and they'll be able to secure another kill. I kind of want Seb to go back on him, but he's just a little bit short on the mana to be able to do so. If you could kill Jibbe another time, then that would completely ruin the tempo that Into the Breach have to play with for the first little bit of this Dyer's game. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So they're holding this tri lane up top, it looks like, for Into the Breach. Very much going to cost him to do that. I mean, yeah. Seb's just waiting for his battery assault to be available, essentially. Yeah, got another five mana until he can look to make the play, and Zibe wisely play back next to his tower. He might have made the move just a little bit too soon before it turned into nighttime, so he's able to back away. Chasing down the boar, not wanting to get this creep pull off. And this is all happening as well before Rezo even has that level six, so you got to be so cautious uh, with him having all the solo experience. He's going to have a very fast wrath of nature, and he can look to get active pretty early on if they feel the need. Radiant's trialing continues, but... Under attack. And Supreme's oh, back Supreme. in the jungle. Yeah. Oh, he's going to find him. He might kill him, man. Oh, he's got to get a right click into Seb just to be able to slow Not him down, and unfortunately for Seb, the cog's just a little bit off the mark. Dropping the voice lines, would we expect anything else? Respect is sitting in that mid lane. Still doesn't have the leap leveled up just Dyer's yet, but top top his main role is, is just attack. making sure that you're not able to uh, get the siege creep hitting into the tower. He used the arrow onto it, so he's going to win out there. Lanes have almost completely dissolved already at the six minute mark. Got supports roaming around the mid lane, really trying to provide as much protection as possible. And Tops is the big winner here. and. Surprise, surprise, he's going into that Reigns of Destiny. Dyer are scanning. Have you had a chance to listen to Africa yet, my Toto? What the hell? No, I haven't. Bless the Reigns down in Africa, you've never heard that song. I, I would have, I definitely would have heard it. Right. Just the name, I don't know the name of the song. But I, I would know the song. I can't I imagine it is. We had like a <laughs> school sing-off in my, uh, what? my, my house one. Oh, what hat? What color were you? I don't. Yellow. Did they do it any? Oh, so I don't think this is Aussie thing. We didn't have a sorting hat or anything. I know, like I know, that. I get, I get it. <laughs> I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure it's just an. Did they even no, do it no, in I, I had one in Australia. Canada. I had one in Canada. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, very interesting. That was really cool. What, what was I? I think I was red in primary, and blue in high school. Or take is getting shoved out. No one is. Very aggressive right now. They know that the Nature's Prophet's going to be able to join if needed. And I feel that Rezo is even considering about looking to try and TP in. He's got that Wrath of Nature out there ready. I mean, he's just standing Dyer's under his Q1 tower, tower at the moment, just happened. looking for any opportunity to get aggressive. He's like, what it happen now? I've seen him pump fake the Wrath of Nature a couple of times as well. And take a dived a little bit here. They want to try and make some action happen before he reaches up onto that level six if they can. With respect being here, they're going to feel like it's a little bit too much. Dyer's top no real point in using attack. spells onto the Marana either. He's just going to be able to run away with that leap, but oh, Radiant still with scanning. just a single white though. Really enables this top tower to be taken, and Chaos Knight is going to be able to retreat. Do they make a full-on rotation to defend the bottom Dyer's side as well? Because Zippe yeah, still is a pretty prime tower. He's still got that. Blows up the Undying, they're going to be able to turn as well. Fortune then, off in a couple of seconds, but not long enough. Ah, oh, they're going to get the goal for the Tombstone as well now, so... Let me give that one over to Kitra.
This is Radiant's bottom tower is under what attack. What do you do? What what do you actually do when you're down 4k gold and your storm is had such a rough start again ck is a lane dominating carry you do not farm fast in the jungle at all and i mean oh, this beast master needs time with the overlord and he's gonna die he's the beast master maybe he's gonna die down bottom so he's gonna be dead for a long time as well 50 <laughs> seconds at nine, nine minutes, minutes in oh, oh no 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 that is not what you want he is your tempo setter and uh, I was really thinking that they were going to try and make some sort of play onto Resolution. Because out of all of these people, he's the squishiest by far. Obviously, he got the support set for a bird, but he is just getting Radiant completely Sponge. ganged up on as Thompson reaches up to a mega kill streak. It, it really does feel like the Nature's Prophet was the squishiest of the bunch, but honestly, not even anymore. He's got a full magic wand, he's got a couple of crowns Dyer's on the way towards that uh, Atos, just because of how stat efficient it is for what it provides so I'm liking the way that they've itemized i'm liking the way that they've been roaming around the map and just playing full on in your face old g style and Radiant's all top this tower with is an attack. abaddon like you said who can have some difficulty in the early game like your lane's fine but still you have some time where you can be a little bit slow but it's the team that is just demolishing across the map and a lot of this is set up against you know, thanks to their their wards they placed down thanks to a lot of their de warding as well into the breach they've been trying to set up a lot of the defensive wards around the river to try and protect their own jungle but they have to trying to point. protect this just take the hell top 300 gold plus 100 for thompson you don't have the greatest gear to be able to deal with it i guess the aquatic shield actually should be able to do so with ease. Resolution's going to TP in as well, so respect. Oh, the leap away immersion will not be able to TP up. Very close to escaping, but the damage to the last second to secure with the kill. I mean, with all that going on, Supreme's getting a wave, right? Dyer's bottom tower. A wave. He's got the treads now finished up, but again, this is the timing that I was wanting them to be able to play around. No one, he doesn't have the relic yet. So if you kill him, Dyer's somehow, then caught. he's going to have that unreliable goal going away. He's going to have a chance to play around. Seven, the tower. Supreme tries to turn. Might be enough on a step, but look how scared they are. A <laughs> little surprised that he even chose to fight like that more the laning stage is gone for him got that helm of the dominator now though could potentially look to make some sort of play towards this bottom side of the map and they're gonna need it. like again you cannot let no one just sit back and get this radius i don't know if they can even brute force it down though with the heroes they have they're so far behind like it might be a, a t2 trade for a t1 bottom which don't get me wrong is very very bad but you're at this stage of the game where i don't even think you can try and find that tower without a trade yeah probably <laughs> i'm just trying it's to another d ward too oh yeah. god radiant structures are oh, stuck nowhere oh, 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 go fly such a sad game jackpot they're able to arrow the, the siege creep there. They are putting a little bit of pressure here onto no one. And they've got the, the haste, so maybe just trying to bait some TPs and then they could look to play elsewhere. But until they fully commit to actually try and kill no one, I don't think OG are going to care about this. He's just holding a point for that borrowed time if he absolutely. Dyer's top tower. Now they're going to gonna be able to force out those rotations. Super the Hawk. They see it. See Topson. Radiance Get the hell away from Topson. They simply should be the game for him. <laughs> List, I guess. But exactly have the greatest heroes to do that either. No siege creep to be able to play around with. Oh, oh, oh. That Korea. It was holding the relic and it nearly went right oh, over okay. Supreme. That would have been huge. All right. See so what they can do off the back of the smoke. We'll take a pops of Phantasm. Just got the Chaos Bolt to be able to set up for the arrow as well. Rezo might run into them. Kill, oh. Oh, oh no. The trade might block the arrow. It's going to depend on the positioning. They saw that Thompson used the TP prior, so he won't be able to protect him, and no one was a little bit too late to get there with the shield as well. So, finally, into the breach, they're going to be able to find their first kill. 14 minutes in, but still, OG. 
I'm looking to try and rotate over. Looks like it'll be a trade. Merchant's life really into the reach. Very happy with it. You've got bottom getting pushed out. Zibe getting close to the helm of the overlord. And the taker was getting a little bit of farm as well after that kill up top. Radiance bottom this enables Zibe to get the bottom attack. tower. They can see this as a win. I mean, he's got the, yep. the hawk to, be, to enable a lot of this vision. They saw that a bunch of TPs were used. So Radiant I'm honestly a little surprised scared. that he hasn't hit this Radiant's tower a couple of times. But still, fallen. he's going to get the tower before they reach him, unless this full on wraparound catches it. <laughs> Oh, they want the Forsaken in Tormentor as well. They're pinging it. They're laughing at him. <laughs> Pretty speedy, dude. I, that, that thing's out of there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, some of the uh, of the action moves we've seen so far. A more interesting one. Trying to chase down the. The Master Creep. Meanwhile, Supreme Respect. How are they going to try and go at this attempt? Oh, gee. Thompson, they'd be the one that they need to go on to, but feels like they're not going to do the damage. Odeka. Oh. Start from Seb. Took it up and have the follow up as well, but the Wrath to Nate shot. Let's get pushed to the low ground and. As a result, Seb's going to be able to clean that one up. Killing spree here for the clockwork. Uh, and then that shadow was part for into the breach, so maybe trying to find an angle to, to look for re enter. And you do have this double Radiant damage room for Supreme. You need attack. to get a kill off the back of this. If there's little extra damage you can find, little extra luck here for the power runes, this is one of them to try and maybe offset. Currently, but just hasn't been able to find an opening. And that means OG, they can look to try and claim Roche. They're gonna layer the reins down to it. The reins of destiny begins to come off with this Roche at them. Radiance bottom tower. You think you go on an orchid on Storm, and when I saw this, I'm like, man, is this 2019? You know what's going on here? It doesn't provide the same amount of regen, but I mean, it's good against the. Uh, I mean, it's good against the Abaddon just to stop him from popping the bar time actively. Sure. Uh, for popping the bar time actively, but you've got an Oracle as well to be able to protect you, so he can just watch and send you. So basically, they're banking on uh, Abaddon and Oracle not being together at the same time and using everything onto the Oracle. But now Oracle's even got Aegis. So what are they going to do about that? No Faker in the jungle. No Faker, that's what they're going to do. Attempt with the wraparound, but we're going to be able to find that connection. Dyra playing all together on a Radiant's high Radiant's ground. Has been They're strong enough to be able to take the fight as well. The Rock of Fire is so best. Scouts of the Kill Snipe. Go into the breach, forced to retreat over towards the secret shop. The arrow will be able to cover them, but it looks like the they don't have the same fate. Raw used defensively, but no one instantly urges that off. You look for the teeth, and he might be able to make it with Topson just a bit too far away. So, in the end, even down towards the bottom lane, Seb was able to cancel Immersion's TP with the cog, so at least they get one but into the breach. You're pretty nice escape from them. Yeah, but I mean, OG <laughs> haven't reached their timing, you know? They've got yeah. the Radiance picked up, they're going into the band, so it's... Dude, it's 14 to... to 1, we got, <laughs> got to do it. I know, I know, you got to try and, you know, get every little victory that you can, but it just doesn't feel like it. They need an overwhelming team fight victory, and the only way that they're going to do that is by killing Thompson. So I completely support old G's uh, decision to give him the Aegis. Saw how hard he was to kill even a single time if he's able to get off that uh, that false promise. Sit in the reins, use the purifying flames onto yourself. <laughs> Doing things like holding the pupil's gift, getting the cloak, but he's able to dish out so much. Radiant are scanning. Ends on the mark, they're gonna look to try and make the play here from OG. Moving on aggressively inside the top jungle. Dyer's middle tower. So inside the lane might be in some trouble. Double boots gonna be out. Looks like the damage should be enough. 
Mm. That will be the case. Resolution finds the kill. They're going to be able to now start to put some pressure onto the tier 2 tower top. That's the game state. No one solo behind a tier 2 Dyer's about to dive a tier 3 to solo kill immersion. Uh, it kind of explains how this game is going right now. There goes the Reigns of Destiny healing up the creep wave so that even the uh, the glyph fortification isn't going to be enough for them to take it out. They might not even need to wait for this man. They could look to go man to. Uh, sorry, to go high ground. Pretty damn sure. What's really stopping them? Cold <laughs> feet, I don't know. <laughs> Got the, uh, the drums on set as well. This is how old G play does. They want every game to end in 20 minutes. Radiance oh, track bottom just that. tower is under attack. Radiance curse. Dyer did hit. find some items like Helm the Overlord on Zibay, Mechanism on Respect. Got an Echo Saber now completed on the CK and almost Dyer's on the Storm. Looks attack. like they're not even going to be able to set up for a defense, but maybe they can try and take Dyer's a fight in a minute top 30 top. once his ages is out. Yeah, I, I don't hate that. You probably want Storm to hit level 12 as well just for the extra damage Radiance aspect. Because has been going to try and at least take out one of those couriers. Oh, is Seb going to go for a blind hook here? Needs to be blind. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Any vision on that clip as Green looks like he'll be Ooh. able to get away. Yeah. This very good micro from Zibay as well. We see up top he was cutting away with the ancient Thunderhide. So there's a reason why they had to go up against the backdoor protection. So yes, T3 tower is going to go down, but it will... Keep the barracks standing for a little bit longer. Is that the orchid now in the storm? Yep. He's going to have it delivered to himself. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So, I mean, he really needs this level 12 as well. Like just a, a big damage increase for the ball lightning. And that's how you're going to win a lot of these fights. Without allowing old G to react. But the thing is, with the way that they drop, the way that they play, itemize, they just stay together. So you're always going to have some sort of layer of protection. Do you want to look to... Yeah, what's going on at the moment? Supreme? Oh, you're in a little century. Look at the group connection. Supreme's going to be okay, however. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Do you consider about giving the tone in Supreme? I'll look into it, for sure. There's not really anyone else that can use it Dyer's as well as he can at this point. Has fallen. It's like I'm dying to say it, so... Continue farming ages has expired. They're gonna look to try and make a play off the back of the smoke. Gonna be quick though. Alex is starting to fall at a pretty rapid rate. Yep. Well. Oh no, they saw the storm. Lucky illusion room though. Supreme. Let me get out of the route. Back to base. How can they set themselves up for the defense though? It's gonna be the wraparound call from them. It's gonna pop and look at no one's positioning. Well, I'm well aware of his strength at this stage of the game. Just look at the charge and immersion pops it through for him, but the rest of the team very far away to look to play with it. Finally, Supreme's gonna try and get it all the way. Instant right near resolution. Quick on the fingers, Supreme gets blown up. He's gonna try and address the tombstone, but the roll's gonna be out for the moment for the instant force promise resolution. Get some health coming through from Pops and pretty sure. Is he going to survive? I see what. Meanwhile, off for the right, though, a take off. Run a man fight. No one almost found the finishing blow, but no one could have stand strong. So, two for one exchange. The price is in the reign of destiny and maybe look to walk up once again. Kill that hawk with the radiance burn. Survives on a little bit of HP and, well, there's that man to style completed. Still, just because of how much they've balled up together, no one not going to be at that level 15 for the plus 65 damage talent just yet, but... Radiant are scared. Actually going on to the back lines shortly, with that Link Dagger being his next item. Still not the level 12 and Supreme, they're going to try and smell it. I had Sep, but Thompson's right behind him. Protected with a fate target for the moment. Yep, they've sure. given enough time for the rest of the show up, Sep, right? Back as well. There should be no escape for the storm. Zibe is going to go down as well. Seb, even accuracy pierces the middle. Great hook shot from him. And now with these two heroes down, I mean, it's not the longest death time, but it should be enough for them to look to walk it up. Respect again. <laughs> Just trying to do some you know, creep pulling. Dyer's He'll get caught by that guy here as well, though. Standing inside of the sprout. No, Link Charges left. But Take it, actually got the damage. Kid track. 
The defensive telekinesis functions can have an opportunity to play around the false promise, and now with all the Phantasm illusions gone, there is a no damage for the Chaos Knight. He's going to be chased down, and now finally they're going to be able to crack the high ground. Makes a lot of sense with the mid oracle as well, just holding onto the bottle as well. So during that false promise, he made sure to use all three charges of it. Plenty of way to heal. There's no way to interrupt him, of course, because you just take no damage during the false promise. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 5%. What do you think that 5% is? So, there we go, 3%. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. Ancient dome? And then... <laughs> You've got to borrow time, man. They might survive it. They might actually survive through it. Oh, God. The rains of destiny are powerful. He's got A on this. <laughs> it just allows it to be a, a psychopath and dive to the front yeah. lines, you know? Well, that's what it is. That, that's, that's a perfect way to put it. Just allows Thompson to do Thompson things. Double yeah. damage! Go on disc at this stage. I mean, this is... Dyer's it was chaos power. to be able to begin attack. with. You know, support's completely leaving their lanes, creating havoc for Supreme, oh. constant diving, playing solo in front of tier 3 towers, but now they're, they're just tripping together. They're not doing anything different from a lot of other tier The ideal scenario is Rezo gets into that AC, but Dyer's they probably don't even need it. Like, no one fall. still is at level 15, yeah. but who cares? Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Smoke behind him and pop the smoke and lift the charge up. Rezo still got that move for a little bit of time. See, potentially one last fight, potentially a wrap as well. Oh, Five-minute victory. That is a hell of a debut for OG. Is under attack. Radiant. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, the old teammates.